In this video, I'm gonna help you avoid two little known and often ignored FTMO rules that will cost you your entire account if violated. Passing stages one and two is hard enough, but the actual funded account is where the rubber really meets the road. It's easy to have a false sense of security. After all, you've been trading on FTMO for a couple months and you think you know how everything works. But like everything in life, there's usually a catch. This is definitely true with FTMO. What you might not realize is rules change between the evaluation period and when you're trading your fully funded account. One of the biggest traps you can easily fall into is related to trading around news events. Strong uptrend for Euro USD, up 1500 pips since the end of last year. This could be a spot where I move to a lower time frame and look to go long. On the four hour, it tested the 38.2 Fib level three times before moving higher. Dropping down to the 15 minute, it recently pushed off the 50%. Looking at the recent history, price dipped below the 61A but came right back up the very next candle. Three bullish candles in a row showing strength. I may set a buy stop here, stop loss below the recent low and take profit at the 127 extension like I've talked about in some of my other videos. At this point we would be triggered in looking to make 2.4 to 1. Keep in mind we took this trade towards the end of the day on Tuesday, April 11th. Have a peek at the calendar and notice there are several economic news events coming up tomorrow that might affect the markets. We're in stage two of the challenge and we may want to tighten our stop loss as the time gets closer, just to be safe. Here we get a couple red candles that are slightly larger than normal. Maybe we decide to cut our risk in half, move our stop loss up. Stop loss was never hit, but we did hit our full take profit. This is a 15 minute chart, but even jumping down to the two minute, we see this move was sudden. In this case, we did make money, but it could have just as easily gone the other way. If we were wrong and didn't have a stop loss in place, we could have easily been in 5% drawdown just from this one trade and lost to the entire challenge. Now fast forward a month later, we've passed stages one and two, and now have our 100K funded account. Looks like price is in a range and we're towards the bottom end of the zone. We want to move to a lower time frame and look for another long position. We set a buy stop that'll get triggered when price moves up towards the take profit. Price moves a little lower, still not in the trade. And just like that, price was triggered and hit our take profit all in the same five minute candle. This was for a 2.6 to one, risking 1% 1 of our account. So our 100K account has now jumped to $102,600. We're already thinking about how much money we're gonna make this month. The only problem is, this big spike was caused by news that we forgot to check. You think you just made $2,600, but you'll soon get an email from FTMO notifying you about the rule violation. There's no warning or three strikes and you're out. Your account that you've worked so hard for is terminated. After spending two months carefully passing both stages, one mistake costs you everything. Let's take a closer look at their FAQ, see what happened. Here on the homepage and you want to scroll to the FAQ and then down to can I trade news. You're in a rush and you see the first line without any restrictions. Reading the entire line, it says in the FTMO challenge and verification, you can trade during news without any restrictions. If you've seen other videos about FTMO or prop firms, the challenge is often referred to as stage one, and verification is the second step. 
So if you recall, the first trade I showed, we added this full amount of profit to our balance because we were still in the verification stage. However, this 2.6 to 1 trade happened during our funded account, and those rules are completely different. Scrolling down, we're told that after passing the evaluation process, you should be careful when trading during news. We've seen the massive spikes that news can cause, so it makes sense we should be careful. Most people would think they already know about the news and stop reading. It goes on to say the FTMO account, which is the funded account, is not allowed to execute any new trade or close an existing trade on the targeted instrument in the window two minutes before until two minutes after the release. And this includes everything from opening to closing a pending order, a stop loss, a take profit, or a market execution. You are allowed to hold through the news. You just have to hope your pending take profit or stop loss order isn't hit. And let's not kid ourselves. Maybe taken as a violation is a nice way of saying your account will definitely be closed. Not everything is off limits during the news release. For example, during the non-farm payroll, you want to stay away from USD, JPY, or GBP US dollar, but you're free to trade Euro, GBP, or AUD, NZD. Scrolling down, on the right, we see the news events, and on the left, what you want to avoid right before and right after. The only exception to this rule is if you specifically request a swing account when you pass stages one and two. To keep from being surprised, here's what I would recommend. Every weekend, go to the homepage, Trading Economic Calendar. Off to the right here, you'll see an icon that says Add to Calendar. I suggest setting a reminder 15 minutes before. Give yourself enough time to close your trades. Scrolling up, I would uncheck no restrictions, low and medium priority. Add every red row to your calendar at the beginning of the week. One of the accidental reasons people lose their funded account is executing trades during news. We'll get into the second reason in a second, but here's a pop quiz to make sure you understand. Here we have a level that's provided a reasonable amount of support in the past. Scooting ahead in time, we see a hint it may be finding support again. I have the next news event highlighted, which is about three hours away. We decide to take a quick scalp anyways. So here, stop loss was definitely hit during the news. Pause the video and think about what would happen in each of these situations. Number one, two, and four, you only lose the trade. Number three is where you'd lose your entire account. We're in a nice short trade since yesterday. It just so happens that our profit target was hit during the news. What happens in all four of these cases? In all four of these cases, we would enjoy the full profit. We're only restricted red news events. We're in a long trade with a restricted red news event coming up. We forgot to exit our trade. What would happen here? Well, you got lucky. Nothing would happen for any of the four. The trade is still open. You only get yourself in trouble when you enter or exit during a red event. Currently, we're in a long position and get stopped out during a red news event. What happens in these four cases? Nothing would happen in any of these cases. Certainly, the news can affect other currencies. But as far as the rules, only euro pairs, like euro USD, euro GBP, would have been restricted.
You were long on the S&P 500 and hit our take profit during a red US news event. What happens here? Option one, two, and four, you get credit for your full profit. Option three is a violation. You lose your full account. US indexes are also affected during US news events. To recap the first point, the rules for stage one and two when you're trying to pass the challenge are totally different than when you have a funded account. During the evaluation, it's still risky having a position open during the news. A sudden spike can put you at a 5% drawdown, but otherwise you'll live with the profit or loss from that trade. But for your normal funded or aggressive account, any kind of trade during a restricted red news event is a violation it will cause you to lose your account. It doesn't matter if you were right and your pending profit target was hit or if your stop loss was triggered, any trade at all during the window is game over. If you find yourself in a situation where you do have an open position during a related news event, the best thing you can do for the next five minutes is to remove your stop loss and take profit. Just hope nothing major happens. However, if you set your notifications on the calendar like I showed, you'll be out of harm's way 15 minutes before the news. The only other way to be safe with a funded account during news, if you want to reduce your leverage 100 to 1 down to 30 to 1, you can request a swing account from FTMO. The news is the first trap, but there's another one we'll talk about now. Going back to FTMO's page, another question asked is, do I need to close my positions overnight? By now, we should be used to this kind of language. During stages one and two, the trader can basically do whatever he wants. Most people will stop reading here. But given how the news was handled, we should be able to guess what's coming next. In cases where the market is closed for more than two hours, the trade must be closed before the end of the trading day. Once again, the swing accounts are the exception to the rule. Not only is there no restriction on news, but you can hold your trades over the weekend. Scrolling up, there's two links we want to pay attention to. All Forex pairs are going to be on the same schedule. Monday morning to Friday night, the market is closed for 10 minutes a day. Trading is closed on Saturdays and Sundays. Let's say it's almost midnight on Wednesday and you have a trade open on AUD JPY. The market is going to close for 10 minutes. Will you be in violation if you don't close your trade? No. It's only when the market is closed for two or more hours. Now it's Friday and you still have the position open. It's almost Saturday. What needs to happen now? No matter if you're up or down, you must close the trade before the market closes or you'll be in violation with FTMO and they'll take away your entire account. The hours for gold are a little different than Forex. Market closes for an hour and 15 minutes every day during the week, as well as the entire weekend. Once again, you can leave your trade open between these breaks because they're less than two hours apiece. Just make sure you exit before the weekend. Any of the indices will have the same hours as the metals we just saw. Same rules still apply. You can trade overnight because the gap is only 75 minutes, but just make sure to close out before the weekend. Dollar index, we have a three hour gap every day. So no holding overnight at all, unless you're on a swing account. You can also trade certain equities in a CFD format. The price of Apple is the same for what it trades for on the NASDAQ, and it could be a good option for day traders. Just make sure to close out by the closing bell. As you know, the crypto market is open 24 seven, and you can trade them on Saturday and Sundays with FTMO. If you think you know everything about holding trades overnight, there's one more little known fact that can easily blindside and take you out. 
A few minutes ago, I showed you the overnight FAQ and mentioned there's two links. The first is the symbol site, which we just looked at, but we also need to focus on the second, which is the trading updates. As I'm recording this, it's Friday, May 19th. If I were to hold a Bitcoin position until Sunday, even though the market is 24 hours, I'd soon get an email from FTMO saying I violated yet another rule. Let's go back to their site. I'll show you what I mean. We're back on the overnight screen. This time we're gonna click on the trading updates link. Tomorrow, FTMO is maintenance scheduled for five hours. This is more than the two hour window. So if I let my Bitcoin trade run through the weekend, I'll be in violation and FTMO will close the account. It doesn't matter that technically the market never actually closed. From FTMO's perspective, it did. And unless you have a swing account, all trades of every kind must be closed by 1 p.m. server time. We have Buddha's birthday in a week. Normally you can trade the HK50 on Fridays, but this would be an exception. If your trade carries over from Thursday to Friday, you would have broken the rule and lost your account. Are we allowed to trade news or hold over the weekend? Like many things in life, it depends. If you're in stage one or two, most of the rules don't apply to you, but don't get too comfortable. Passing the challenge is a step in the right direction, but you're still out of pocket the application fee. You haven't gotten your refund or received any profit yet. Not to mention, now's the time to pay extra attention and dance around a minefield of rules, all designed to snatch your account. Review the rules and quizzes at the beginning of this video until you know them like the back of your hand. Make sure to stay safe and check the upcoming calendar and special announcements. Going from here, check out my video on five steps to pass any prop challenge and check out my essential playlist where I go over psychology, risk management, setting stop losses, and take profit. Comment down below any experience you've had with FTMO or another prop firm. Good luck. Talk to you soon.